hey i hope you're doing great now we're going to add to our custom video the volume the current time and the duration of the video we have already the play and pause button already done if you don't know how we did this go back to the previous video and then come back to this one okay first we're going to add the html so we need to add something for the volume and it's going to be an input all right so let's do input the type is going to be range and then we're going to add a couple of things like um first let's add a class of volume which we're going to use um the minimum is going to be zero the maximum is going to be one so it's going to go from zero to one the step is going to be I want it to be very smooth, so 0 0.01, and then we're gonna add a value of one right now. So the volume is gonna be all the way up, all right? So this is all we need for that range. Let's save it. And here you can see that we have it, right? This is the range. Now we can control the volume with this. So the step, as you can see, is very smooth. If you change it a little bit, let's say 0.1 instead, um, now you can see that is you know it's not that smooth, so you can control the steps. Okay, we have that now for the time and the duration, like the current time of the video and the duration of the video. Let's create a, a diff with the class of time, and inside that we're gonna create two spans. So let's do span with the class of current. That's gonna be the current time. We're going to do this to divide, like a forward slash to divide it, and then another span with a class of duration. Oops, sorry. A class of duration, like this. There you go. And inside them, we're going to do zero, you know, just like a, like a regular time. It's going to start at zero here. So visually, it's going to be zero, zero. We're going to change that with javascript I'll save it and here you can see you cannot see it but um it's dark but we have the time this is going to be the current time and the duration of the video okay let's go ahead and play with this volume let's go to javascript let's do volume volume is pretty easy um, we're going to do and add a, a variable for the volume. So const volume equals to uh, a video player query selector. And we added the class of volume, right? So let's use it volume. There you go. So now we can go here and do volume at event listener. And this is going to be on mouse move. Okay. Mouse move. And create a arrow function here. I'm going to add an E for event, which you're going to, we're going to use right now. So uh, the video volume. And this volume is coming from the video. Okay. This is not my the um, um, variable is a, the volume we're getting that volume from the video and it's going to be equal to what e dot target we're getting it from the actual um, event of this mouse mouse move dot value so what we're saying is the volume of the video is whatever we are putting in here in that range when we move, we're changing the volume of the video. Let's save it. Let's see if that works. Let's play the video. Is that simple? We have the volume ready to go okay i'm gonna use a range now you don't have to you can you can customize a whole html thing it doesn't have to be an input range like this 
but we're gonna change the color and we're gonna change this little um, thumb here later don't worry about it all right and now we're gonna go to the time the, the current video and the duration of the video so let's do here current time and duration I'm gonna create a function first because we can, we need to do a lot of math here and, and numbers and divide and multiply things. So I'm gonna do const, let's call it current time. It's gonna be equal to an arrow function here. And before we continue with the function, let's create all the variables up here. So let's go ahead and do that. Right here after the volume, I'm gonna do const current, I'm gonna call it current time element that way we're not confused by like volume you know you can get you can get confused let's just say current time element equals to video player query selector current right all right that's the current time let's do one for the duration so duration time element let's do kind of the same thing it's equal to video player dot query selector and this one is duration all right we have the variables ready to go now we can continue with the function so first let's do all the math we're going to create a couple variables here so let's do let current minutes it's going to be the current minutes of the video okay minutes is going to be equal to math floor is going to help us and by the way, I'm going to put in the video description um, what is math floor and what is all a bunch of things that we're going to use right now. That way you're not confused, okay? So it's going to be video dot current time divided by 60. All right, that's the current minutes. Next, we're going to do the current seconds. It's going to be equal to, same thing, math.floor. And here we're going to do video. Current time. Minus current minutes. And then by 60. I know is it can be confusing because all the math. So make sure you pause for a minute when you're creating this and think what's going on, right? Is white is dividing it by 60. Um, why is, um, and when you do that, it makes sense. All right, next we're gonna do the duration minutes, okay? So let duration minutes equals to math floor, same again. And this is the du video duration, video dot duration divided by 60. Whoops, let's do minutes like that. All right. Next is going to be duration seconds. Let duration seconds. I know this takes a lot of time, you know, creating all these things, but you have to, okay? Math floor is gonna be video duration minus duration minutes by 60. Let me scroll down a little bit. There you go. So now that we have current minutes, current seconds, duration minutes and duration seconds, now we can add it somewhere here in this element. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna do uh, the current time element. Inner HTML is gonna be equal to, I'm gonna use backticks, okay? That way we can do template literals. There we go. So it's gonna be current minutes. 
is the current time, remember. We're going to do this and we're going to do current seconds. And now we're going to do duration time element inner HTML. Same thing is going to be equal to backticks. duration minutes and duration seconds all right and now we have this function we need to add the event listener so we're going to do it here video dot add event listener this one's going to be time update so every time the time of the video updates we're going to run that function so the function is current time. So that's a function that we created. Let's save that and let's see if it actually works. All this math. Save. Let's play. Let's see. I'm, I'm going to highlight this to make sure we can like see it. So you can see the seconds is updating and we have the total time here. It says 1 minute and 45 seconds. So it's working. The only problem that I have is that it's starting here, you know, zero and zero, zero, and then you play and it's like zero and one, two. I want to add that extra zero. That way it looks the same way and it looks good. So a very easy way I can do this is go here to the current time element right here. And I'm going to do this in the current seconds. I'm going to do if current seconds is less than 10 seconds what's going to happen and this is a ternary operator by the way we're going to add a zero plus the current seconds if not let's just show the current seconds just normal all right, so what I'm doing is in this line right here, I'm saying if the current seconds is less than 10, I want to show this, which is an extra zero with the current seconds. And if not, just show me the current seconds. Hopefully you're not confused by that. Let's save it and see if it works. Let's Let's add some CSS there that we can see it, test it again, make sure it works. So I'm going to do here dot time. Um, let's do font size 1 em color white. And let's leave it like that for now. We're going to add more later, but I just want to take a look at the time, make sure it works. Save it. All right, here you go. Let's reload the page. Let's play the video. I'm going to turn down the volume. All right, so the volume is working fine. The number, we have the extra zero there and then 10. Total, the whole duration of the video is 1 minute and 45 seconds. Perfect. Time running. And we are good with the volume, current time, and duration. I know it doesn't look good. Don't worry. We're going to add some CSS and it's going to look super cool. Right? And now, I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.